How are you guys doing? Okay. Hey, I did really good. Uh, what is the relationship like? When you actually get time to edit, what 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 do you guys have to do to come onto the same page to make to make it work? It's a first of all, I'm in the, in the editing room. It's like when the movie is being written again, and being told again. So it's a first of all, it's really you're so nervous looking in because it's, it's sort of like it's, this is the judgment of all you've done. I mean, you've been you've been working on the script, you shoot it, and then it comes in where you all matter into this dark room where everything's been put together and you just hope that it makes sense on some level. And uh, that's why I'm, I'm, I feel so privileged and so happy that Marianne would do it because she's a phenomenal storyteller, great editor, but also has so much imagination and can really see and just like, no, that's wrong, you should do this. And then let's tell this the other way. And she's mostly right, I hate to admit it, but uh, she is, <laughs> she's more, she but it's, it's important because you're sitting there for such a long time and it's an uh, it's incredibly important relationship to be there because you're there together to you know, create a new story right. based on the material you have. And I'm grateful that Morton is open to all that because I, um, you know, some directors wouldn't be. And the thing is that when they come into the editing room after the uh, film is shot, they only want, they only see their failures. Right. And so it's really a dark couple of weeks before you can start to get out of that. And what I like to do is I like to skip that part and go right to, hey, let's just start in scene 65. Right. In the middle of the film, we'll just work this great scene wow. out and go on for other scenes and we won't watch the whole thing till we're all on the same page. That's awesome. Morton, these credit let me take him on that ride, which I think, um, given our schedule, is probably a good way to go. It definitely um, I've never heard that kind of thing before. I've never heard of, but that's very clever. Yeah. It well, is, it is like that. I mean, it's, it's a, it's something called the assemblies. When you see the first rough cut of the film, and every director dreads it. And uh, a friend of mine threw up right after. A friend, director friend. Like, he saw his movie and he threw up. Like, that's what you do. You're so, so filled with fear and anxiety. So, so it's a, uh, it's a very delicate process, but it's also very lovely. It's like when your movie also comes together and you can see, wow, this is what it can be. This is the, I, di I didn't think it could actually be that great or I didn't think that scene could work that well. That is what the editor brings. They, are, they can, you know, finesse your work and really make it come together. Better than what you thought. And it's great to have a collaboration. I mean, yeah. if you're not alone, you know, it's great to have a partner. That's cool. Do you, was there a particular challenge with passengers? that maybe you haven't seen other films? You mean or? like the fact that there were basically two people in the entire film? And it's a also it's a <laughs> also it's a movie that is really hard to balance because it's a uh, it's a romance, it's a drama, there's right. action, there's the the epic. It's like an epic, intimate movie. That's cool. It's uh it's it defies genres a little bit. So mm -hmm. so it actually has been a balancing act. Yeah, the whole I mean, movie. it's a big sci-fi film with yeah. a small cast and a lot of stuff happens. That's awesome. Well, thank you very much. Goodbye. Thank you. You're welcome.